leftovers are savory little breads that are perfect to soak up all the juices in our plate. I'm topping mine with caramelized shallots and cheddar. To get started, I need two cups of milk. And put this on medium heat. I don't want it to boil, I just want to warm it up. I've got four ramekins. I'm going to add savory, flavorful bacon fat. I have this leftover, but you can use butter, olive oil. This is going to add some extra flavor, and it's going to work as a non-stick agent. Pop these in a 450 degree oven for a couple minutes so they get nice and hot. And now I'm going to pan on medium heat, drop a little bit of canola oil in there. I'm going to cut some shallots, nice long pieces. Alright, these are done. I just want to let them caramelize slowly. Time to get started on our batter. I'm going to need two cups of flour. And one tablespoon of salt. A little bit of pepper. Put this aside. And now in another bowl, four room temperature eggs. Give these a quick whisk. I want them to become fluffy and airy. It should take about two minutes. These look ready to go. Milk is warm. Time to combine it with our eggs. No boiling. I don't want to scramble these eggs. Incorporate it a little bit at a time. Excellent. Time to combine our wet to our dry. Pour this slowly. Don't want any lumps. The rest in there. I don't want to stir it too much. I don't want to lose all that fluffiness of my eggs. All right. Everything's combined, looking good. Shallots are looking great. Time to get my ramekins. Beautiful. Now, these are nice and hot. My side is melted. Pour in my batter. I'm going to put batter about three quarters of the way up. You want to leave it a little bit of room to pop over. Now, time for our shallots. Layer those right on top. A touch of rosemary right on top. And now, a little bit of cheddar cheese. Last touch, just a little bit of pepper. Beautiful. These are ready to go in the oven, 450 degrees for 15 minutes. After those 15 minutes, bring the heat back down to 350 for another 15 beautiful, savory popovers.